Trustee Senior. Here. Trustee Abraham. Here. Trustee Miller. Trustee Miller is absent, but on the way. Madam President, we have a quorum. Thank Can we you. all please stand or be seated in acknowledgement of the flag and the Pledge of Allegiance? Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. To the flag. United States of America, to the Republic, for the two states, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, thank you all. Can we please have a moment of silence? Thank you. Item two, public comments. And if you can please do me a favor and mute yourself if you do not have the floor as the respective speaker. I'll read this disclaimer. While the meeting is open to the public and public comments are welcomed, in light of concerns related to the spread of coronavirus disease, COVID-19, the meeting will be streamed live online, and the village strongly encourages residents and participants to submit written comments to the village clerk prior to the meeting. Persons will be allowed to make in-person comments if they so desire to. However, individuals will be brought into the meeting room one at a time, and all federal, state, and local protocols currently in place to alleviate the spread of COVID-19, including social distancing requirements, will be observed. Again, the village welcomes and encourages your participation in this process and thanks you in advance for your interest in the village's finances and affairs. Mayor Thompson, at this time, I have not received any email to the clerk's office by 6.30 p.m. this evening for public comment. Do you have anyone present in chambers? No, I don't. No one is in the chambers. Okay, thank you, Mayor. So we'll move to item three, communications. Um, Let's do the recognition first, if you don't mind. Uh, we have a recognition that Mayor Thompson will present. Mayor Thompson. Thank you, Ms. Jones. We have two um, young students that attend Lindop School who participated in our Village Sticker Contest, and we want to announce the first and second place winner. Ms. Jones. Thank you, Mayor. Can everyone hear me? Yes. OK, our first place winner, and we're so excited, she's 12 years old. Miss Nakia Campbell. And that's the village sticker that is online now that we're selling as of for 2021. So just want to tell you, Nakia, thank you. Thank you. So she's on Zoom now. Can everybody see her? Oh, there she is. I can see half of her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So we have her plaque. She's coming into Village Hall tomorrow in order to take her picture. And also, um, she has her gift certificate from Target. So nice. congratulations. Congratulations. Congrats and thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Congratulations, Nakia. I am so proud of you and the artwork that you have exhibited to the entire village. Your actual village vehicle sticker is on all vehicles within the village of Broadview for the next year. So I'm extremely proud of you. And I know you used to Zoom. So I can kind of tell how I'm seeing you on the camera, but I just want to say congratulations and I'll go around Trustee Abraham. Congratulations and thank you. Trustee Tierney. Great job, thank you very much, looks great. Trustee Senior. Trustee Senior. Okay, well, I'm sure she would say, oh, there she go. I'm sorry, I was on mute. Congratulations, young lady. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. You're welcome, sweetie. <laughs> okay, Ms. Jones, who's next? On mute. You on mute. Thank you, Mayor. Our second place runner up is Anaya Hannah. <laughs> yes, she is, Mayor. So we have her plaque. Of course, she's coming in tomorrow in order to take her picture and also her gift card. Congratulations, Anaya. I am proud of you. Anaya is actually a kindergartner at Lindop School. So oh, wow. To get involved, to participate in this. And um, 
I guess we have to kind of show who what the second place winner was, but she had this muscle bound person like was strong because we always say Broadview strong. So we are extremely proud of you, Anaya. Good job. And now go around and uh, let the trustees speak. Trustee Abraham. Congratulations for being what kindergarten and, and making you. that. So yes, good job on it. Thank you. Trustee Tierney. Yeah, great job. I can't wait to see what you're going to do next year. <laughs> Excellent. And Trustee Senior? Congratulations. That is quite a talent uh, for a kindergartner. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're proud of you. And then the last recognition we have is I wanted to recognize uh, Pastor John Harrell. I don't know if he's on the call this evening, but we do have we do want to honor him in the village of Broadview. Since we got into the pandemic for the past year, we've had passed out probably over 3,000 food boxes to the village of Broadview and the surrounding towns in the township. And so it's with our great appreciation that we hereby present Pastor John Harrell with this award and recognition for Black Men United ongoing partnership with the village of Broadview. We couldn't have done it without you. I mean, Pastor Harrell has been leaps and bounds of what we are able to do as it relates to serving the community. And he does it like with a full heart of passion. And that's why I'm so, um, I love him dearly because he is for the people and he meets the people where they are. So this is the plaque that we will be honoring him with and hopefully he will come pick it up sometime tomorrow or sometime this week. But I just wanna say, we truly appreciate your partnership, your collaboration and everything that you do for the entire village of Broadview in the Chicagoland area. I mean, he's all over the place. He helped us um, get water to Mississippi. He's provided food to uh, those, water and food to the Houston area when they had the electric out in uh, the uh, Texas area. So this guy is just the people who we want to work with, who truly have a passion for serving the people and looks for nothing in return. I mean, absolutely nothing in return. And that's kind of hard to believe in the time and days that we're in, but it's the whole God is truth that he looks for nothing in return. He just does the work. So we appreciate your collaboration. Um, okay, Mr. Clark, next on the agenda. Next on the agenda is communications, Mayor, and I only have one small but very important item. Tomorrow is election day, and as you urged earlier on a robocall that I heard, it is our civic duty and very important for us to partake in this municipal election. The polls do open at 6 a.m. and close at 7 p.m. If you have never voted in Broadview or this is your first time voting and you have not yet registered, you can register and vote on site same day all you need is two pieces of identification bring that and the judge will ask you a couple of questions and you can register and vote on the same day um, i want to thank uh, everyone that has early voted because we have quite a good turnout and with that being said madam president um i just want to make sure that everyone knows that the polls will open at 6 a.m and close at 7 p.m thank you thank you mr clark all right, next we have item four, consideration to approve the following minutes, minutes from the March 15th, 2021 regular board meeting. And I ask that those be tabled by any trustee, please. Motion to table. Second. It's been properly motioned by trustee Abraham, seconded by trustee senior. And Madam President, if I may, those minutes were not complete and I will have them ready for the next board meeting. My apologies. Okay. Uh, will you have a roll call? Yes, ma'am. Trustee Horn is absent. Trustee Jones is absent. Trustee Tierney? Yes. Trustee Senior? Yes. Trustee Abraham? Yes. Trustee Miller? Trustee Miller is absent. And Madam President, this carries three to zero to the table until the next board meeting, which is. Um, April 19th, Monday, thank you. Next is item five, consideration to approve expenditures, grand total of all funds, $891,480.18. Motion, motion to approve. Second. Properly motion by trustee Abraham, seconded by trustee Tierney, Madam President. 
Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Before we go into reading the warrant list, I just want to be real clear and transparent to the community. So it had came out that we just gave department heads a car blanche of spending expenditures over $10,000 without coming before the board. This warrant list actually let us know what big expenses we have in the village of Broadview that's um, at $2,500 or more. So we still have some controls in place as it relates to what bills come before the board. So I wanted to clear that up, that we don't have car blanche in the village of Broadview. We do follow a, a process and a policy that we have. We do read the warrant list that's over all invoices that's over $2,500 in every department. So with that being said, I'm gonna ask Trustee Abraham, who's the finance chairwoman, to please read the warrant list. Thank you, Madam Mayor. This is the AP warrant list as of uh, April 1st, 2021. Our first vendor is 2200 West Roosevelt Road, LLC for $27,278. L. Warren Oil Company Incorporated, $20,235.17. AT&T, $26,598.12. Blue Cross, Blue Shield of Illinois, $100. $58,274.37. Broadview Westchester Joint Water Agency, $278,998.28. COPS Testing Service, COPS Testing Service, $3,600. Cargill Incorporated, $23,200.18. CDS Office Technologies, $12,380. ComEd, $4,295.20. Curie Motors, $37,142. Delgado Law Group, LLC, $14,673.75. Edwin Hancock Engineering, $5,948. Electrical Resource Management Incorporated, $5,090.19. Genos Heating and Plumbing Incorporated, $50,000. $522.50. Grasso Graphics Incorporated, $3,381.99. Groot Incorporated, $43,010.82. Insurance Program Managers Group, $12,375.39. Joseph Pinsetto, $6,435. Law Offices of Philip M. Fernaro. $31,164.57. Lazy Boy Gallery, $4,395.94. Lincoln National Life Insurance, $7,333.63. Mid-American Water, $2,819.08. Minor Electronics Corporation, $15,827.01 penny. Printing Arts, $2,654.70. Quicket Solutions, $26,125. Third Millennium, $6,257.69. West Cook County Solid Waste Agency, $19,770.57. Windstream, $3,636.54. Our total expenditures over 2,500 is $853,423.69. Our total expenditures is $891,480.18. Our percentage of total is 96%. We also had a manual payment. The vendor was Casual Canvas Creations. This was for a check in the amount uh, for $750. Now to the funds that will be affected. <clears throat> General fund, $480,885.70. Garbage fund, $62,781.39. Capital projects fund, $2,000. Water and sewage fund, $345,813.09. Our grand total is for $891,000. $480.18. And then we have that manual check, Madam Mayor. So the total, uh, grand total of checks to be issued is at $892,230.18. That's 
That's the end of my report, Madam Mayor. Thank you, Trustee Abraham. Trustee Tierney, you have any questions? No questions or comments. Trustee Senior? No questions or comments at this time. Trustee Abraham? No questions. And at this time, Trustee Horn and Trustee Jones is absent. Mr. Clerk, can we get a roll call, please? Yes, we can, Madam President. Trustee Horn is absent. Trustee Jones, absent. Trustee Tierney? Yes. Trustee Senior? Yes. Trustee Abraham? Yes. Trustee Miller? I know she's still having issues getting on. She's currently absent. And Madam President, this carries three to zero to pay the bills. Thank you all. Well, you didn't, uh, no, I need to vote because we need a quorum to. That's correct. Sorry, Mayor, thank you. Thank so you. I'll vote, I'll I'm vote gonna, yes. I'm gonna ask for Mayor Thompson's vote, please. Yes. And now that carries four to zero. Thank you, Mr. Attorney and Mayor, I apologize. All right, item six, old business, we have none. Brings us to item seven. New business. A, consideration of an application for business license requested by Isidra Overa Lopez of LAS Overa's Catering Inc. located at 2421 South 25th Avenue for the Village of Broadview, County of Cook, State of Illinois. Motion to approve. Second. And properly motioned by Trustee Tierney, seconded by Trustee Abraham, Madam President. Thank you, Trustee Tierney. No comment. Trustee Abraham. No questions. Trustee Senior. No questions. Mr. Clark, can we get a roll call, please? Yes, you can, Madam President. Trustee Horn is absent. Trustee Jones, absent. Trustee Tierney. Yes. Trustee Senior. Yes. Trustee Abraham. Yes. Trustee Miller. Absent. Madam President, this carries three to zero. Thank you all. Next item B, consideration of an application for business license requested by Zainab Muhammad of Trinity Bargains, LLC, located at 2238 South 13th Avenue for the Village of Broadview, County of Cook, State of Illinois. Motion to approve. Second. And property motion by Trustee Senior, seconded by Trustee Abraham, Madam President. Thank you, Trustee Abraham. No questions. Trustee Tierney? No questions. Trustee Senior? No questions. Mr. Clark, can we get a roll call, please? Yes, we can, Madam President. Trustee Horn is absent. Trustee Jones, absent. Trustee Tierney? Yes. Thank you, sir. Trustee Senior? Yes. Trustee Abraham? Yes. Trustee Miller? is absent and madam president this two carries three to zero thank you all thank you next item c consideration of a zoning application for housing forward regarding property located at 1014 to 1020 west roosevelt road for the village of broadview county of cook state of illinois motion to approve second, second. and properly motion by trustee abraham properly seconded by trustee senior madam president uh, thank you. Commissioner Upshaw, will you tell us about the zoning application with housing for it, please? Uh, yes. Can everybody hear me? Sir? Yes. yes. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, the map amendment special use and variation uh, that is on the agenda tonight is for consideration of the property located at 1014 through 1020 uh, West Roosevelt Road. Currently, the property is owned by the Broadview Westchester Joint Water Agency is on, and is under contract by housing forward. Uh, Howard Housing Forward is a nonprofit organization, and I see that we have uh, Linda Schuler on the line, as well as who represents Housing Forward, as well as Rich Toth. Uh, Linda, can you give us a, a brief history of Housing Forward, and then Rich, can you talk about the three zoning items that are on the agenda for consideration this evening? Sure. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Linda Schuler. I am the executive director of Housing Forward. Housing Forward is a 28-year-old organization serving the needs of individuals who are homeless or at risk of homelessness in 27 communities in West Suburban Cook County. We are headquartered in Maywood at 1851 South 9th Avenue, about six blocks from um, the site we are proposing to develop 
at 1014 1020 West Roosevelt Road. This is going to uh, be a, we are proposing a mixed use permanent supportive housing development uh, with a ground floor of um, commercial space, which will have a communal space for our residents, uh, as well as on-site um, supportive services for our staff. The upper floors, floors two and three, will have a total of 16 units. Um, tenants of the building um, will be at or below 30% of area median income. We will be serving a combination of single adults, uh, small families uh, who are exiting homelessness. Uh, we will have a mixed population as well of uh, veterans and uh, young adults, 18 to 24. We have our service partners, Amita Presence and Youth Outreach Services. Um, and this is a development that has already been pre-approved for, we've already been awarded funding from Ida uh, for the capital, as well as from Cook County. Uh, the total development costs are $7 million. So it's a combination of state and federal resources that will be supporting this. Um, and then we've also secured long-term operating support that will also come from Ida as well as um, HUD bash vouchers for the veterans that we intend to serve in the, in the building. Um, we presented to the zoning board on February 17th, received uh, feedback um, on our site plan and made those appropriate modifications. I have a few members of our development team here. Um, as introduced, Richard Toth is our zoning attorney. Mark Jolliker is a uh, partner at Perkins and Will who is um, leading our architectural services and Larry Puteri, who is a VP with Lightingale Group. And um, he is helping us out with our financing. Thank you, Rich. Sure, thank you. Um, uh, in consultation with uh, Commissioner Upshaw and his team, we've identified certain zoning approvals that we need for the project. Uh, the project, the site is currently has split zoning. It's part C-1 and it's part R-3. So of course we want to have a uniform zoning district for the property. Uh, the village, we could have gone a couple of ways there, but the village has expressed a preference that the entire property be rezoned to a uh, uniform C-1. So uh, our application includes a, a request for rezoning to C-1. Uh, we also need a special use uh, to accommodate the upper floor dwelling units that's required in a C-1 district. Uh, and similarly, we need a variation for reduced uh, parking. Uh, uh, the application was filed in October uh, 2020 after some consultations with the village. Uh, Housing Forward first met with the safety committee uh, back in December, uh, December 2nd, 2020. Uh, we had received some feedback from that uh, and we made some design changes uh, in response to that. Uh, as Linda indicated, we met with the Zoning Board of Appeals on February 17th. Uh, 2021. And uh, again, we had some feedback. We made some changes to accommodate their requests. I think we've done that uh, all through the process. Uh, uh, we have not had any uh, objectors to the project. And I really want to thank uh, Commissioner Upshaw and his team for all the hard work uh, and, and, and guidance they've given us through this whole process. We'd respectfully request your approval. Thank you, Rich. Uh, Mayor, uh, board, just to uh, do a quick summary. Um, as they stated on February 17th, the zoning board did conduct a public hearing and the summary was their recommendation uh, was unanimous uh, that uh, the map amendment, the special use and the variation be approved by the village of Broadway. Thank you, Commissioner Upshaw. So Trustee Abraham, you have any questions? No, I do not. Thank you, Trustee Tierney. Yeah, well, what's going to be the capacity of the tenants that are going to be living there? Do you have an um, estimated number or your capa yeah, full so capacity? Yeah, so there's a total of uh, 16 units, and we intend to serve between 20 and 22 individuals, depending on the size. Of the. There are four two-bedroom units, and the balance of the units, 12 units, will be um, one bedrooms. Just okay. to introduce 16 dwelling units that's on the second and third floors. Uh, again, it serves individuals and families and there'll be office space for housing forward on the ground floor. Okay, that's all I had. Thank you, Trustee Senior. 
And I was going to ask that same question too. So he just answered the question. <laughs> Okay, thank you. And I see Trustee Miller is on the call. Trustee Miller, I don't know how much you heard of the conversation, but do you have any questions or comments for uh, the Zoning for Housing Forward? No. Okay, thank you. Mr. Clark, can we get a roll call, please? Yes, we can, Madam President. Trustee Horn. Trustee Horn is absent. Trustee Jones. Trustee Jones is absent. Trustee Tierney. Yes. Trustee Senior. Yes. Trustee Abraham. Yes. Trustee Miller. Absent. Thank you, Madam President. And that um, carries four to zero with one abstention. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Welcome to Broadview. Thank you. Have good, a good luck. Day. So much. We're, we're thrilled. Thank you. Good night. You're welcome. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Okay. Next item is item eight application for the authority to expend funds totaling 11 million. Seven hundred sixty-six thousand. Not eleven million. Eleven thousand. Oh, that would be a lot of money. <laughs> eleven thousand seven hundred sixty-six dollars. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Wagner. You want to tell us about this purchase order that you're asking us to approve tonight? Sure. Uh, thank you. Just to confirm, it's not for eleven million dollars. <laughs> I could never <laughs> ask for that money with a straight face. Um, this is from uh, CDS. We ordered three laptops for our squads. We try rotating them out like two every year. So this is to uh, request to purchase three of them. Uh, we didn't order any last year in 2020. We ordered two of them in 2019. And um, we're anticipating to uh, put these into uh, new squads if we can get them for next budget year. Okay, Trustee Abraham? Uh, no questions. Thank you, Trustee Tierney? No questions. Trustee Senior? No. Miller. Is there a buyback program or are we going to donate these, the ones that we recycle out? Was the question, I couldn't hear the question, was it a buyback? No, there's not a buyback. There's, a back on those. there's not a buyback. Yeah, so I was um, we decommission these and then we either recycle them or we donate them um, back to. Uh, uh, other police departments. Okay, so is the plan to donate the ones that we're we're, we're recycling out? Well, if they're if they're usable, we'll have to take a look and see once we decommission them and take all the programming off of them. If they are usable and um, we can put it back in the commission with other police department, we may need them. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Clark. Can we get a roll call, please? Yes, you can, Madam President. Trustee Horn is absent. Trustee Jones is absent. Trustee Tierney? Yes. Trustee Senior? Yes. Trustee Abraham? Yes. 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 And Madam President, this carries four to zero. Thank you. This is out of nine presentations. We have none that I know of. Is that correct, Madam President? That's correct. Thank you. And item 10 is Village Clerk. I've spoken about the election tomorrow. That's about all I had. Um, Number 11 is Village President Mayor Katrina Thompson. Thank you. So I do see that uh, Pastor Harrell has joined the call. And Pastor Harrell, we just honored you and show to say that we appreciate what you do for the Village of Broadview. So this is your award or your plaque showing that we appreciate you for the food of serving over 3,000 families in the uh, Broadview and the Proviso Township that came to the actual Village Hall to pick up food. And I know that's an ongoing uh, project that you have going on. I know we'll have food boxes tomorrow here at Village Hall, which our normal delivery day is on Tuesdays and Thursday. But we do, we appreciate all of the hard work and labor that you provide to the Village of Broadview. And so this appreciation, it just says, um, in recognition for Black Men United ongoing partnership with the Village of Broadview, we look forward to many more years working with you and Black Men United as we provide food and items that are essential items that people need during hardships. So we appreciate that. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you. Welcome. Um, I do have a few announcements tonight. So as we know, tomorrow is election day. I believe Trustee Horn and Trustee Jones is absent because they actually did a telephone town hall during a board meeting that a scheduled board meeting that we already had on the book. So uh, it is what it is and we're gonna pay their salaries to do political things. So go figure. 
but tomorrow is election day and I am encouraging all residents to go vote tomorrow. If you're 18 and older, please go out and exercise your right to vote. Election day registration, we have a lot of new residents that have moved into town that don't know what to do as it relates to uh, registering to vote. So voters who are not registered to vote can register and vote at their home precinct on election day. Any voter who is not registered and needs to know where to go to register and vote on election day can go to cookcountyclerk.com backslash voter info to search by address for your polling place. Voters planning on registering to vote, please mute your phones. Voters planning to register to vote or update in their voter information on election day must bring two forms of ID, one with current address. No photo ID is necessary, but you do have to have two forms of ID with some mail with your address on there. We build our democracy with votes. Through our votes, we express what we as citizens think is in our collective interest. We empower officials to act in our name to promote those interests. It's the power of the vote that keeps our elected officials accountable. Local elections are the most important elections that we can have outside of state and federal elections. The local elections are what matters. So I'm encouraging all voters to go out and exercise your vote. Uh, we thank those that who have already early vote. Another thing I wanna talk about is the pandemic. So even though people are getting vaccinated, people are starting to get a little bit comfortable and a little bit lax on what that looked like for the pandemic, but you still must wear your face mask. Even if you've been vaccinated, still wear your face mask, wash your hands and practice social distancing as much as you can. The numbers are starting to spike up a little bit and it could have been from some of the gatherings from the Easter um, weekend that we just came out of, but still we, we still have to be diligent so that we can beat this pandemic. So get vaccinated. I've been vaccinated. Have you been vaccinated? If you have not been vaccinated, um, you can go to the Cook County website to get to, to register to vaccinate. Uh, we do have a few more people who's called uh, the village for us to help you get registered. If you need assistance getting registered, call my office 708-681-3600. Your health matters to me and I wanna make sure that you get vaccinated if that's something you choose to do. Uh, tomorrow's election day, go out and exercise your, your vote. Um, finally, we in the Village of Broadview believe in health initiatives. And so for the past three months, the village administration team, as well as all of the departments within the Village of Broadview, we participate in the Biggest Loser Challenge. This is our second year doing it. And uh, it started on January 4th and it concluded on March 30th. And everybody had to weigh in every Tuesday um, for the weight. So when we first started, it started from, we, the average loss was from 1.9 pounds to 23.6 uh, pounds. Um, the total entire, our total group, when we first weighed in, our first weigh in was 3,691 pounds. When we ended it on the, the 30th, we ended at 1,530. So we've lost 2,161 pounds between all of the 16 participants that participated in the Biggest Loser Challenge. And so I do want to um, recognize the winners of the big prize. First place winner was Officer Neil McMahon. McCone, he won $250. I believe he lost 25 pounds. So congratulations. And then second place, I don't know what his weight loss was, but Officer Alfonso Ruse Wrangle, he lost some significant weight too. And I came in third place, but I only won $75,000, but I'm excited about the weight loss that I had. So, but I do wanna say that um, Chief Kenny, I don't know if she's on the call, but Chief Kenny looks amazing. I mean, like amazing. She lost a lot, a ton of weight, you all. I mean, a lot of weight, but she didn't follow the rules. You gotta follow the rules to win the big prize. But I wanna say congratulations to all of the winners. We're all winners because we all lost some weight, whether it was one pound or 25 pounds. And that just makes me excited that in the village of Broadview that the workforce is participate in healthy initiatives and living healthier. We had one officer stop smoking cigarettes. So whether it's weight loss or quit smoking or doing some other things that's not good for your health, it's a start. And so every year we will continue to do this and hopefully we can do it bigger and bigger and get the community engaged to do something like this moving forward. So I just want to say, God bless you. Um, I appreciate all of the support that you guys have bestowed to me these last four years. It's been amazing and we got more work to do, but we get that work done together. We are a team and we are Broadview Strong together. So 
See you tomorrow at the polls. Good night. God bless you. And I'll call for a motion to adjourn. Make motion. the motion to adjourn. Second. Here, properly motion by Trustee Kennedy, taken by Trustee Abraham to adjourn this meeting. Uh, Mayor Thompson, I'll have a roll call at this time. Trustee Horn. Trustee Tierney. Yes. Trustee Senior. Yes. Trustee Abraham. Yes. Trustee Miller. Yes. The Madam President, this meeting is hereby adjourned at 8 10 p.m. by a vote of 4 to 0. Thank you all. Thank you. Have a good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Don't forget to vote tomorrow. <laughs> vote 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. The polls open and close.